Hey everybody! Oh, that was weak. <laughs> Most of the time I will buy a lot of things whenever I'm on vacation. Vacation? Alright. Alright! Oh, just dropped the brush. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I'd make a video about what makeup and brushes I pack whenever I go on vacation or I go on trips. Because, I mean, this is something that I don't know about you, but I'm always curious about what people are taking and I'm always looking for new tips to bring less makeup, even though that is pretty hard to do when you love makeup. So yeah, today I just wanted to show you guys what I bring with me on a vacation since I am leaving for my vacation with my family on Sunday. So yeah, you know, I just decided that it would be the perfect time to make this video and Anyways, if you want to know what I pack and what I take with me on my travel adventures, then make sure to keep watching. So I'm going to start off with tools. Um, I like to take my brushes separately from like the rest of my makeup so that they don't get damaged. And I have this like brush kit thing from Morphe. It is pretty small and it's pretty compact. And it holds a bit of brushes. I could hold more if I wanted to, but I like to take less brushes. So that I don't, you know, overpack because that does tend to happen and I used to do that a lot and now I've learned that whenever I'm on vacation, I don't wear as much makeup as I wish I could because I don't have enough time. So why bring a ton of brushes if you're not going to be able to, you know, use them all. That would take up a lot of space. So as you can see here, I just take a large fluffy brush that can work for setting your foundation or setting your under eyes or applying bronzer. So it's like very versatile. And it's a bit dirty. I have to clean these before I leave, but yeah. I think this is a staple. Everyone should take this on their tree because it would make their life easier. Next, I take a stipple brush. And I normally use this for blush, contour, and highlighter. So I like to bronze with a bigger brush. But contouring, highlighter, and blush can be done with this one. It is very good to like blend out the product. And you just give it a swirl on a tissue whenever you're done using like blush and move on to highlighter and it works perfectly. If I want to do a bit of like more precise highlighting, I do take this like fluffy brush. It isn't that big but it's perfect for highlighter. I love it. It's like my go-to for highlighter. So if I want something like actual highlight like bam in your face, not subtle, then I use this one. Normally I like to set my concealer with a separate brush because it does crease a lot so I have to go in and really dig into my eyes so I like to use a small brush for that and I use the IT Cosmetics airbrush all over shadow so it could be used for your eyes as well but I mostly use it to set up my concealer and set my eye primer sometimes for like my eyes I go I usually take one blending brush because it can be used for a lot of different things. It is essential. I always need to take at least a blending brush. So I have this one right here. It's kind of medium sized. You can use it for a lot of different things. And yeah, it is just, you need to take a blending brush whenever you travel. Dual ended brushes are my favorite to take when traveling because they don't take up as much space. They're awesome for your like packing and space and stuff because they don't take up as many space, but you do get two brushes. So I'm taking this one from Urban Decay, and we have like a small like shader side, and then we have like a very tapered blending side, which will help if I want to do like blending in the outer corner or more precise blending. So yeah, I really like this brush. It is quite small. It fits really well wherever you put it, so yeah. I also like to take a few, like I have two shader brushes because these are the ones that I'll use the most. Because most of the time I just like apply something on my lid and then run out the door. I don't really do anything like crazy. So I take two because I'm not going to be cleaning my brushes whenever I travel. So these, I mean I have to clean them before I leave. But when I'm in my like vacations, I don't usually, you know, clean my brushes. So I take two so that I can use them interchangeably. And the last brush that I take is always a angled brush with a spoolie. Um, most of the time I'll do my brows with my pencil, but if I want to fill them in with powder or if I just need a spoolie, sometimes like your pencil doesn't have a spoolie, I take this and it works wonders. I never leave my house whenever I'm on vacation or whenever I travel without one of these. 
So moving on to makeup. I take all my makeup in this pretty big bag. Um, I got it from Forever 21, so it's very inexpensive, it's very cute, and it holds a ton of product, which is like my favorite part. Most of the time, I will buy a lot of things whenever I'm on vacation. Vacation? Whenever I'm on vacation. So, oh, excuse me. So I just take it whenever I buy stuff, I just put it in here, and like, it holds a lot of things, okay? So let's get started. I like to take a foundation that is, like, pretty versatile. So I take the Etude House Precious Mineral Any Cushions Foundation. It's like a cushion foundation. It has a mirror and your foundation's right there. Oops, sorry. Your foundation's right there. And I like this one because I can do like a super, super light wash of color or I can build it up to like my desired coverage if I want to go for fuller coverage one day. So yeah, I really like that about this one. I do take my beauty blender with me everywhere I go. This is like my go-to. I cannot leave the house without this. So yeah, I can use it for a lot of things and I can I can just not not take it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so next. For my concealer, this depends on how I'm feeling and which is my favorite concealer at the time. Right now is a Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. Naturally Radiant Concealer by Too Faced. I freaking love this. It is great, so I'm taking this one because I just... I love it right now. And as for my powder, I take the Tarte Smooth Operator. I have a sample. I've had it for like more than a year now and it still hasn't run out. The reason that I take this is because it's a mini. I love taking minis whenever I'm traveling. They like leave a lot of room for new things, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I take this one. It's really great and it's small. Next up, <laughs> for my brows, I take... As I've already mentioned, my brow pencil, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil, perfect brow pencil, and they've changed the presentation now, but I take this one, I love it, it's super easy, and I also take my Gimme Brow, because I love this brow gel, it's one of my favorites, and it's mini as well, so it doesn't take up that much space. For an eye primer, I always take my eye primer, I take the Urban Decay Primer Potion, it's a mini as well. And just, you, you'll see a recurring theme of minis in this video because they're honestly the best way to go whenever you're packing. For my eyeshadow, I like to take one eyeshadow palette and it has to be relatively small. I don't like traveling with big palettes because I'm always like in fear that something will break or like I don't like taking my Z palette with my Holy Grail shadows because I feel like it'll break. So I take something that I know will hold up and that I know won't take up a lot of space. And for me, that is the Natural Matte Too Faced Palette. You can take any of the palettes that come in a tin like this. I really do recommend them. They have a mirror. You have a ton of shades and you can do a lot with them. And sometimes I even fill in my brows with this color right here. So it is very versatile, very sturdy. Um, I, I've traveled with this plenty of times and it does not disappoint. For eyeliner, I take two. I take a liquid eyeliner and I take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I love this one. This is my favorite. And if I decide I want to do a wing or I just want to do something for my eyes, this is the way to go. So I always take it with me. And I also take a, like, pencil eyeliner. Well, this is like a coal eyeliner. And this is a Graph Black by MAC. It is really good. You can do a lot of things with this. And I just think it's a staple. And, oh, it doesn't come with a sharpener. I was just, I was kidding. So yeah, it's just a staple. Something that is very versatile for you to take. And it's really good. For mascara, I also take a mini. Oh my god. I also take a mini and I take the Roller Lash by Benefit. This is a sample as well. Um, I really, really like it. One of my favorite mascaras. And it's a mini, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. On to more minis. Uh, for my face products, I just like to take one bronzer, one blush, and one highlighter. All three of these are minis. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with them. So I take the NARS Laguna bronzer. And I love this one because it has a little bit of shimmer. It doesn't translate. Um, you can use it as a bronzer and you can use it as a contour like as a contour shade as well so I've dented this one a little bit I've used it a lot I take it traveling with me everywhere it is really good it's a mini you know the story and same thing goes for the next two they're small they're travel friendly and 
It's the Opal Highlighter and the Flower Child Blush from Becca. Really great products. The packaging is really sturdy. Nothing's going to happen to these. They're minis. They fit everywhere, which is awesome. You guys must be sick of hearing about minis all the freaking time, but whatever. And I think we're on to the last um, ones, and it is lip products. A lot of people don't like to take a ton of lip products whenever they're traveling, but I love to take a ton of lip products because I feel like I'm taking the same products for my eyes and it'll basically look pretty much the same every single day. So I like to interchange like my looks by changing up my lipsticks. So let me go through them. I'm taking the Magic Wand Ultra Sand Lip by ColourPop, Beautiful Noon. I'm taking the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 05, which is like a shimmery metallic liquid lip thing. Love it, love it, love it. I'm taking the Vivid Matte Liquid um, thing by Maybelline and Berry Boost if I just wanted something like more berry, pinky, and vibrant. I'm taking this duo by um, Bite, which has like two nude lipsticks in here. Like, duos are the best. Um, I'm taking a red lipstick by e.l.f. I love this one because it has a very, very precise tip. I don't need a lip liner. And last but not least, I'm taking the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Frida. So I take a ton of different colors. It depends on where I'm going and what I'm wearing. So I always like sync up my lip products with that. But honestly, you know, I just like taking a variety of different colors so that I can change my looks up and look different in my family pictures. Yeah, basically that is it. That is all that I pack. For some of you it might be a lot, for others not that much. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you can pack whenever you're traveling and like give you ideas of how to pack as well. So yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to never miss out on any more videos. Thank you so much for watching, I love you guys, bye!